Triggers are just zones that do something when we move into them. So in this example, I've got a door that I'm going to make open when I walk into a certain area. And when I move out of this area, the door closes. I created this door during my hammer doors tutorial. Triggers can do anything, so you could use this tutorial and make it explode something or set fire to something. It just depends on which entity we're trying to mess with. So first things first, I'm going to get the block tool and create a zone. This zone is the one that I'm going to detect when my player walks into it. Click browse on the right and select the trigger texture. Now I'm going to click Control T on the block and change the class to a trigger underscore multiple. This means it's ready to do something when we walk into it. To make our trigger actually do something, we need to give our door slash entity a name. This way, Hammer knows that we want to open this specific door. So I'm going to go to my door and hit Alt Enter. I'm going to change the name to My Door and click Apply. Now we go back to our trigger and hit Alt Enter. Click on the Output section. This is where we tell the trigger what to do. We want the trigger to open my door when we walk inside of it. So we're going to click add and say on start touch, which means do something when the trigger is touched, my door. So we're telling Hammer that we want to do something to my door and we want it to be open. So in this section, we say open. Now we want to do something when we leave the trigger. So we click add and say on end touch which means the trigger does something when we leave this area, my door, and instead of open, we say close. So this is what your output should look like. Now when we go in game, when we walk into our invisible trigger, the door opens, and when we leave it, the door closes. Once you learn more about Hammer, whether through our tutorials or elsewhere, you can start to do some really cool things with triggers.